Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem? 27 raised to the power x plus 8 raised to the power x divided by 18 raised to the power x plus 12 raised to the power x equals to 7 over 6. From here, let's express 27 as 3 raised to the power 3 then raised to the power x then plus 8 can be expressed as 2 raised to the power 3 then raised to the power x divided by also, we can express 18 as 2 times 9, and that's 2 times 3 squared. Then raised to the power x, and then plus, we can express 12 as 4 times 3, and that's 2 squared times 3 raised to the power x, which is equal to 7 over 6. And then in the next step, we can rewrite this and interchange this power. So this can be written as 3 raised to the power x, then raised to the power 3, plus, also here we can write this as 2 raised to the power x, then raised to the power 3, divided by, here we can use this x to expand this, this x will affect this number inside, so we have 2 raised to the power x, then times, we have 3 raised to the power to then raised to power x then plus also here too we can use this x to expand that we, that means we have 2 raised to power 2 then raised to power x times 3 raised to power x then equals to 7 over 6 and then in the next step we can rearrange what we have here and write it as we can write 2 raised to power x first and make this become 2 raised to the power x, then raised to the power 3, then plus 3 raised to the power x, then raised to the power 3, divided by, also in the denominator, let's try this side first, we have 2 raised to the power x, that's 2 raised to the power x, then raised to the power 2, when we write that again, then times 3 raised to the power x, then plus 2 raised to the power x, then times here as well, we can write it as 3 raised to the power x, then raised to the power 2, which is equal to 7 over 6. And from there, let's use a letter to represent 2 raised to the power x, and a letter to represent 3 raised to the power x. So let t be equals to 2 raised to the power x and let q be equals to 3 raised to the power x and in term of q now this equation becomes t raised to the power 3 plus q raised to the power 3 divided by here we have p squared then times q that's p squared q then plus here we have p q square so that will give us p q square then equals to 7 over 6 and when we solve this from here we apply the sum of 2 q from here and this becomes p plus q then multiplied by p square minus p q plus q square in the numerator there, then in the denominator we factor pq out. Here we have pq common, bring it out, pq into bracket, what is left here is p, then plus q left here, then is equals to 7 over 6. And uh, here we have p plus q cancel out, divide each other. Then what we have left here is p square minus pq plus q squared all over pq and this is equal to 7 over 6 when we cross multiply from here we have 6 multiplied by everything here that's 6 into bracket p squared minus pq plus q squared then equals to 7 times pq that's 7 pq and uh, when we open the bracket here this gives us 6p square minus 6pq plus 6q square then equals to 
7pq and let's bring 7pq to this side in order to form an equation so we have 6p squared now minus 7pq come here so that will become minus 13pq then plus 6q squared which is equal to 0 and here we can solve this quadratic equation and we factorize from here and this will become 6p square minus 9pq then minus 4pq plus 6q square equals to 0 so we factorize this minus 9pq minus 4pq become minus 13pq and also when we multiply it we get 36p square q square so from here let's factor what is common in the first two here so we have 3p common here and then what is left inside here is 2p here then minus what is left here is 3q also in the second bracket minus 2q is common what is left here is 2p and what is left here minus 3q then equals to 0 and uh, in the next step we have 2p minus 3k common let's take it out 2p 2p minus 3k then multiply by 3p minus 2k which is equal to 0 so we have two cases here we have 2p minus 3k equals to 0 and also we have 3p minus 2q equals to 0. Now from here we can say 2p is equal to 3q and also here 3p equals to 2q. Now let's separate the variable under each other and bring the number under each other. So we have p over q here will now be equal to 3 over 2 and here we have p over q will be equal to 2 over 3. So from here we represented p as 2 raised to power x I mean 2 raised to power x over q as we represented that as 3 raised to power x then this is equal to 3 over 2 on this side and on this side as well we have 2 raised to power x over 3 raised to power x that's p over q equals to 2 over 3 and from there we can write this from the law of indices and this x will be taken out and this will be 2 over 3 raised to power x equals to 3 over 2 here and here we have 2 over 3 raised to power x equals to 2 over 3 here here now we have that this base are equal and this raised to power 1 so from here we can see that x is equals to 1 from here then on this side we can also make this one to be 2 over 3 by taking the reciprocal so that will be 2 over 3 raised to power x then equals to 2 over 3 now raised to power minus 1 and here x is equals to minus 1 so therefore the solution to this problem is therefore x equals to 1 and uh, also x equals to minus 1 so therefore we have come to the end of this class thank you for watching don't forget to click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel thank you see you in the next class and bye for now